I'll be showing you step by step how to measure the page speed for your Shopify store. Whether you want to measure a specific page or your overall store, this video is going to help exactly with that. It's also not going to require any paid subscriptions. It's all going to be completely free here. So to measure the page speed for our Shopify store, we'll be using three different sources here and balancing them all together are going to give us an excellent idea of how well our page speed is performing. So to start things off, you should head to your Shopify store and you can grab any URL here, depending on what page you want to measure. I'm going to grab just the homepage here and to measure the page speed, we're going to be using a combination of three different free tools. None of these tools require installation and they're all web-based. I'll leave links for these in the description below. First off, we have webpagetest.org. This one is nice as it gives us different configurations. Let's say we want to test on a desktop versus a mobile device. It's also going to show us the page speed for that region. Next up, we're going to be using Google PageSpeed Insights. And lastly, we'll be using Pingdom's website speed test. It's also nice on this site here as well, as you can select different regions. So let's say most of your customers are coming from Brazil. We can select this region here and it's going to give us a more accurate representation of how fast it's loading from that region. So I'll leave links for these sites in the description below. But all you have to do is simply paste in the URL and hit start test on each of these sites. Now it's going to take a few seconds to load them as it's going to have to scan those sites and then go through all the data. But we'll go through the breakdowns right after it's finished scanning. So our first test to complete is Google PageSpeed Insights. Now this is a development store and it's actually just redirecting to the password page. So it's given it a really good score here. Most Shopify sites will not get 100 here. But what's great about this is it's going to give you a ton of different diagnostics. So you have red and yellow warnings. Not all of them are ones you're going to be able to act upon, but it's going to tell you if you have extra things loaded, like different plugins, or if your images aren't compressed at all, these will load up here. You could also have different settings you may have changed at a certain point that Google is going to come and say, hey, this isn't the optimized way for getting a good page speed score. Let's take a look at web page test next. So it's going to give us quite a few metrics as well. What I quite like is the visual loading process, as we can see on a second by second breakdown, how fast each element of our Shopify store is loading. So this is here for the visual breakdown. We can see the time to first byte, so 1.066 seconds, and it's given us a good score here at a sub two seconds for when the largest visible content finished loading. It's gonna give us different individual runs as it's done this multiple times. It's gonna give us a breakdown of what's being loaded. What I quite like as well is the waterfall view. So if I were to click on this here, it's gonna show us everything line by line that's being loaded. And here is a great way to discover if you have anything blocking or any errors. Sometimes you might've installed a Shopify app or an external plugin that's gonna take a long time to load the JavaScript and that could be potentially slowing your store down. Now many plugins have gotten better at this, but maybe it needs to be updated or something along those lines. So here, if I zoom in, I can see each individual thing being loaded. I can see there are two errors for the font and the favicon. So it looks like I should go and fix that for my Shopify store by adding in the favicon as they are both throwing four four errors, which are resource can't be found. So your store is going to have a ton of more lines here showing each and everything being loaded. And for each of these, we can see how long it's taking to load and if it's going to be blocking any of the other resources from being loaded. Lastly, we have Pingdom here. I can see it gave us a performance of 99 and the load time is under one second. So it's going to give us different grades for each of these page performance metrics, such as avoiding empty SRC or HREF. So these are links to other sites, make the favicon small and cacheable. You can also see the breakdown on what's being loaded. So the majority of this is just going to be that font I had. HTML is really small. And we can also see a line by line breakdown. I'm going to recommend changing the entities per page to a larger amount so you can see the full second by second breakdown on every single resource being loaded. So if you take a combination of these three tools, it's an extremely effective way to get an understanding of your page speed performance for your Shopify store. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it can be to keep track of how much profit your store has actually made. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can 
truly understand your store's performance, letting you make smarter business decisions. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold providers, giving you real-time analytics and tons of different metrics so you can understand everything about your store, which is absolutely crucial in industries such as e-commerce where there are pretty tight margins. There's a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description below to the app listing directly. You can also search for it on the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. So make sure you check that out with the 15 day free trial. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.